Hey guys, Brian Hunt here for another Tuesday tutorial. And in this video, we're talking about the best practices for adding links in your description on Facebook. So the idea of this Tuesday tutorial came from a conversation I had with Sven over at Ontario's Lake Country. Me and Sven were working together last week on a video project and we were just chatting about different ways of posting and promoting stuff on Facebook. So if you create a post on Facebook and you link to an external website, so you link to your own website or something that's outside of Facebook, Facebook is not gonna promote that as much as it would if you did a post where it's just linking back, say, to your page on Facebook. So some people might really have a hard time with this. They're thinking, I really wanna get people to my website. I want to get them to my organization outside of Facebook. I wanna use Facebook to help me do this. So one of the ways around this is if you're doing a paid post, if you're doing a sponsored post or an ad, then you're allowed to link to uh, outside of Facebook. You're, you can do that within a post anyways, but it's not gonna affect the way that your post is gonna work. It's still gonna work well because you're paying for that post to leave Facebook. Again, Facebook really doesn't want you to leave, but if you're paying for it, they don't mind too much. So one of the other ways you could do this is your link in your description, your link could be to your Facebook page yourself. So to your own Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page or a business page for your organization or company, you really should set one up on Facebook. They have all the advantages you can have when just having a Google page as well, where you can have your description of your company, you can have your hours that you're open, your phone numbers, your contact information, your website. And if you use that in your description of your post, then it links back to Facebook. So people can still find out information on your company, on your organization. They can still say maybe go to your website to buy tickets for an event, whatever you're trying to do, but you're keeping people within the Facebook ecosystem. And that way that post is going to get a lot more leverage. Facebook is going to promote that post far more than if you're going to make a post that's going to have a link to an external website. So that's just a little quick tip on making sure your posts get out there and get seen by as many people as they can on Facebook. We thank Sven over at Ontario Lake Country for helping us out with this information. And we'll see you again on the next Tuesday tutorial.